For computer researcher Gordon Bell, even his morning walk to work is part of a grand experiment in digitizing and remembering everything. Hi, John. Uh, are you capturing me here? Ah, uh, yes, I am, yeah. The little camera around his neck takes a picture every 30 seconds or so. A sound recorder rolls nonstop. And you'll have no trouble remembering then on this day that there was Gilbert with his camera walking right in front of Absolutely. us Absolutely. We've really, yeah, we're recording each other. At 71, Bell's own memory is still good, but he's now saving his whole life on computer, from childhood certificates to all his medical records. Memories make life richer, he says. I can retrieve everything I ever heard, seen, or done forever. He has digitized 50,000 family photos. He hasn't deleted an email in five years. I have 100,000 emails. There's a thing about, uh, about this system that having everything is so damn important. The system he's working on for Microsoft would help people easily record and recall their entire past. Our focus is really to, to try to make it as useful as possible. Using computers to remember, Bell says, will free our minds for more creative thinking. Do it now. Start now. Why use your own brain for storage figures when computer memory has become so cheap? Fifteen years ago, a gigabyte of memory cost a thousand dollars. Today, it costs less than a buck. One gigabyte can hold the content of a thousand novels. So, so you would tell young people today, never throw anything away. Absolutely. Store everything Start, on your computer. Right. If Gordon Bell and his research team are successful, we may one day have instant recall of everything without actually having to remember anything. Consider that next time you're about to hit the delete button. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.